it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hi, everybody. That was really interesting to think about what the artists used the, the colors for, like why they picked those certain colors. We, we don't really know, and we might never know because we don't have him here to ask him. So we could do some research and maybe learn more about it. But for today, I'd like you guys to think about taking that deeper exploration into Chicka Chicka Boom Boom to help answer Cassie's question about the illustrations. And so I thought it might be fun if you guys get to be illustrators today. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, perfect. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get, get you to turn into your next blank page of your response journal. So you're gonna need a blank page, looks like this, you know, with the blank page at the top. We're only gonna use the top part, that picture box today. I'm gonna read some words and I want you to draw the picture that you're picturing. Okay, what are you imagining that picture to look like based on what I'm reading to you? And I don't want you to look in your book and I don't want you to see the actual picture right this minute because I want to see what you imagine it looking like. Use your imagination and think, what does this picture look like that she's reading about? But don't look, okay? And Penny, what's that? Oh yeah, you can do it too. Penny wants to know if she can illustrate too. I've got some crayons here for her and I've got I've got her journal here. So I'm gonna get her started right here. Let me put her right here. Perfect, here's your crayons and there's your journal page and you can get, she's gonna get started down here with her journal page. All right, so let me get on the right page for you guys. Let me read just a few lines and I want you to draw what you think this page looks like, okay? And you draw too. Draw at the same time that I'm reading if you can so that you can remember what you're imagining. So I'll read it a couple times slow so you can have some practice. So here's what it says. Still more W and X, Y, Z the whole alphabet up the, oh no. Hmm. Now don't look in your book, don't be cheating. Think about what you envision is on this page. You can't get it wrong because it's your imagination. So Penny, what are you, Penny's drawing a tree. She thinks there's a tree. I don't remember reading about a tree, but she can draw what she's imagining. Oh, she's drawing some letters, interesting. All right, let me read it again. You draw what you think you see. Still more, W and X, Y, Z, the whole alphabet up the oh no. Hmm. I'll read it one more time and then you can take a few minutes to draw your picture and then I want you to just turn in your drawing today but don't label anything and don't look in your book yet okay I promise we'll get to more of it later. Let's see what else happens with what you imagine being on this page okay here we go. Still more W and XYZ the whole alphabet of the oh no. Hmm, what could you draw? Draw what you think is happening. Um, I, I just noticed in the video, I wonder if you guys could see that her little bow was shining a cool light on the video. <laughs> that was pretty neat. All right, so Penny's done with her art piece and she did it kind of fast, so I don't know if it was very good quality. You might wanna go back and check your quality and make sure that's really good, okay? She's gonna go back and check her quality and make sure she did her best kindergarten work while you check yours and then turn in what you have for your imagination of the page that says, still more W and X, Y, Z, the whole alphabet up the O, oh, no. Can't wait to see what you draw.